What we're looking off off to my right here is an astounding group of bar charts. It may not make much sense currently, discrimination index and so on and so forth, and something below, otherwise known as N1 acetyl 5 methoxy chironormine, not to be confused with chironormine, which I believe is an offshoot of tryptophan pathway responsible for brain inflammation. Chironormine, A M I N E. What they did is they had a one minute training uh, exercise in response to object, rec object recognition, I can say it appropriately. And then after that training exercise that lasted one minute, they injected these animals, in this case rodents, with this AMK. And what it did in the speed at which it did it was just astounding. With that in mind, let us get right into basically the excerpt and then to the full study in reference to melatonin. Now keep in mind, melatonin and its, all its metabolites yielded benefit. But in particular, the N -mel uh, melatonin uh, metabolite, N1 acetyl 5 methoxychironuramine, was the main component. So melatonin eventually goes down that pathway and you get AMK. Block AMK, you diminish the benefits. But to proceed as follows. Systemic, AMK, one milligram a kilogram. We'll get into all the dosages uh, as we go forward. Administered after a single one minute training. Now the administration was an injection into the stomach or the intestines. Enhanced object memory at one and four days post training in all age groups. What makes this extremely amazing is the fact is with this one injection, you yielded incredible benefits from short-term to long-term memory with one injection after the event. And that was it. Now, there's a lot of things that help improve short-term memory, and there's a lot of things that help with, you know, with long-term memory uh, consumption over time. But this was just astounding. But to proceed, let's get into the full study itself. Melatonin, finally a supplement that actually boosts memory. Researchers, that's their title, not mine. Researchers at, research at Tokyo Medical and Dental University, TMDU in Japan, show that melatonin and its metabolites promote the formation of long-term memories in mice and protect against cognitive decline. Now we'll look at the study in reference to what a discrimination index is. One of the easiest ways to test memory in mice is to rely on their natural tendency to examine unfamiliar objects. Given a choice, they'll spend more time checking out unfamiliar objects than familiar ones. The trick is that for something to be familiar, it has to be remembered, as with everything. Like in people, cognitive decline in mice manifest as poor memory. And when tested on this novel object recognition test, they believe they behave as if both objects are new. Now we go into the meat of the metabolites, in reference to the melatonin, and so on and so forth. The group of researchers at TMDU we're curious about melatonin's metabolites. The molecules of melatonin is broken down to after entering the body. Quote, we know that melatonin is converted into N1 acetyl N2 formal 5 methoxy chironuramine and then N1 acetyl 5 methoxy chironuramine AMK in the brain, explains the researcher. And we suspected that they might promote cognition. To test our hypothesis, the researcher first familiarized mice to objects, discrimination index, it gave them doses of melatonin and the two metabolites one hour later. Then they tested their memory the next day. They found that memory improved after treatment and that AMK was the most effective, obviously the end metabolite of melatonin. All three accumulated in the hippocampal region of the brain, a region important for turning experiences into memories. For young mice, exposure to an object three times in a day is enough to be remembered the next day on a novel object recognition task. In contrast, older mice behave as if both objects are new and unfamiliar, a sign of cognitive decline. However, one dose of AMK 15 minutes after a single exposure to an object, and older mice were able to remember the object up to four days later. Can you imagine that carried over to human trials? If this pans out, that it actually has the same impact in animals as it does in people, to have one injection help improve cognitive ability that rapidly it is just basically phenomenal uh, a godsend 
if it works that well in humans. Simple, effective, and available. To proceed as follows. Furthermore, now we're going to go to the full study. The DUI citation will be there and so on and so forth, so you can follow links and basically read on your own. But to proceed. Furthermore, inhibiting, this is the important part, because they want to see exactly what part of the melatonin pathway, ha or I should say what metabolite, had the actual impact in improving short-term to long-term memory. Furthermore, inhibiting the melatonin to AMK metabolic pathway disrupted object memory at 24 hours post-training. Post suggesting that the endogenous AMK might play an important role in long-term memory formation. This is the first study to report that AMK facilitates long-term object memory performance in mice and melatonin crosses the blood-brain barrier and is immediately converted to AMK in brain tissue. Overall, these results support AMK as a potential therapeutic agent to improve or prevent memory decline. Not only that, something that maybe the future can be tested for to see if a person or an individual, I should say, is potentially prone to memory decline because of a problem with AMK itself. It may be either medically getting AMK or a start supplement of melatonin may help offset that potential pitfall. But to proceed as follows, previous studies evaluating chronic melatonin treatment have indicated predominantly beneficial effect. Oh, before, let me back up real fast. I want to get to the dosage part. This is the dosage part in reference to the methods and the uh, Methodology, I should say. There it is right there. Again, intra, uh, intraperitoneal delete. I always have a hard time with that word. Uh, it's just injection into the stomach or intestinal tract itself. So they're trying to simulate uh, oral consumption, but in measured dosage as opposed to just adding the feed and have basically varying dosage because consumed by the animals itself. So keep that in mind. All right, now let's go back to the full study itself or the conclusion of the full study. All right. Previous studies evaluating chronic melatonin treatment have indicated predominantly beneficial effects on cognitive deficits in and various animal models such as AD, Down syndrome, sleep deprivation, and chemically induced memory impairments. It has been suggested that melatonin has anti-inflammatory, anti-amyloidogenic, and antioxidant properties that underlie its potential to reduce brain damage and improve learning and memory deficits over long-term treatment. These effects may depend on melatonin's metabolites, as we pointed out before earlier. In this present study, a single AMK administration enhanced LTM, known as long-term memory, even in mice with age-associated memory decline. This suggests that AMK is a potential therapeutic agent to improve quality of life in individuals with MCI. In conclusion, I want to read directly as written. In conclusion, quote, we provide the first evidence that acute treatment with AMK and one acetyl 5 uh, methoxykinuramine, a metab met met melatonin metabolite, of course I blow on that word, facilitates long term memory with superior effects compared to just melatonin on its own. So the metabolite of melatonin is where it's at, is what they're saying. Melatonin will eventually go to that metabolite through the pathway, but it may be a much more beneficial effect in those individuals who need it the most to do the AMK strip. The present data strongly suggests that AMK plays a key role in facilitating STM, short-term memory, to LTM, long-term memory transfer of information. Again, what an incredible, an incredible find. People usually associate melatonin with jet lag and sleep and circadian rhythms. However, though, it's interesting because melatonin tends to decline as individual ages. So if melatonin declines at individual ages, then obviously you'll have a decline in AFMK and AMK itself, those main, main objects or metabolites of melatonin, which help convert short-term memory to long-term memory. You see the correlation? Not so we draw a causative relationship. But if melatonin definitely is decline as a person gets older, then you can see how the correlation or the hypothesis or next level of the hypothesis could be postulated or established. Again, gratitude. Thank you. I hope you find this information of use. The UI citation will be linked to the full study. If you'd like to, you could join us on Saturday night, Sunday morning. This last Saturday, we basically covered the data analytics in reference to COVID-19 and hospital uh, occupancy rates, ICUs, and so on and so forth. Uh, this way is not so dependent basically on what the newspapers tell you or the media. It's looking at data analytics from a different side. 
so you get a better understanding of situational awareness of exactly what's going on around us. Every Saturday night, Sunday morning, we produce a video, a little detailed, a little scientific, a little data analytic, heavy duty in biostatistics, but still follow through. It's fun just the same to get that understanding, to get that grouping. Again, reference the melatonin, phenomenal, phenomenal. I would love to see human trials in reference to this, that AMK should be easy uh, to start administering, provided they get the proper documentation for phase one, phase two, phase three, you know, the typical bureaucratic route, but still that offers such incredible hope to so many people, since basically with an aging population and cognitive uh, disabilities on the rise, wow, what an easy, easy way to mitigate such pitfalls with something which is readily available and very inexpensive and according to currently looks to appear very soon. Again, we're off to channel. Gratitude. Thank you. See you on Tuesday night. If not, see you Saturday night. If not, see you on Tuesday. Gratitude. Thank you. See you all next time. See you then. Bye.